These syringes of human body fat may represent the future of regenerative medicine. Once they would have been thrown away, but that was before anyone realized their value. Researchers at Saitori Therapeutics have discovered that body fat contains one of the highest concentrations of stem cells in the human body. The important part of the discovery is that you have this tissue in the body that's incredibly plentiful, easy to get out under local anesthesia, and it's probably the body's richest source of stem and regenerative cells. Stem cells have the ability to change into various specialized cell types, making them key to the field of regenerative medicine. Saitori Therapeutics' Mark Hedrick and Chris Calhoun have made it their mission to research the clinical uses for these potent cells. After spending more than $200 million in research and development, Saitori has come up with what it calls the solution system, a machine that turns liposuction fat into a stem cell mix. The system works by separating stem cells from fat tissue. A specialist then reintroduces the potent cells back into the body. The doctor can easily take a source tissue like fat, small amount, run it through our tools and our devices, and get the patient's own cells they can deliver right back in about an hour. It's affordable, and it's the patient's own cells, so they're not going to be rejected. They're not going to get a disease they already have, and you're certainly not killing embryos or other things that may um, invoke some kind of uh, ethical or political controversy. The researchers say that with regulatory approval, they'll be able to apply their technology to the repair of damaged organs like the heart and kidneys. In the meantime, they're focusing on cosmetic surgery, and in particular, breast reconstruction. Instead of fitting implants, Calhoun says doctors could now use a woman's own stem cells to generate new breast tissue. While stem cell regeneration may reinvent the breast augmentation business, Hedrick and Calhoun believe that they will soon be allowed to apply their technology to the repair of vital organs to help save lives. The opportunity for regenerative medicine is enormous. It's, it's probably not even quantifiable. It's kind of, I think we're at the point where the computer age was in the early 80s, and you can see how big that industry has become. The researchers are working towards a day when organ transplants may no longer be necessary. Stem cell technology may be in its infancy, but Calhoun and Hedrick say they're looking forward to reaching the next level. Ben Gruber, Reuters.